say that the feeling of me, the I, that is the center of the mind, then what is the center from which love operates? From no center. We have a thousand centers. None of which is the center of love. Hmm? In fact, that is the very danger associated with love. It does not come from any of our centers. It does not confirm to any of our centers. And therefore it weakens all of our centers. You can know the source of all your conditioned actions. That source you can call as the center of those actions. But you can never know the source of love. Love in that sense is sourceless, beginningless. You cannot trace love down to some reason. And if you can indeed find a reason, then it is just another impulse arising from one of your regular centers. That is why man has always been baffled by love. One never knows where it comes from. Mostly people do not know because they do not care to know. Mostly people know very little about love because they do not even bother to look at love and be awed by it. That is why they are often confused between love and general attraction. But those who have bothered to really look at love have found that it is possible to come to the source of attraction, of repulsion, of urges, impulses, drives. But there is one particular type of love or quality of love that is very untractable. One goes looking for its source and one gets lost. That alone is love. That particular type is the only real type. Hmm? Love that is dependent on a condition or a reason is not that type. You love a religion because you subscribe to it, there is a reason present. You love a man because you are wedded to him, there is a reason present. You love a child because you have given birth to him, there is a reason present. None of these are love then. Take away the reason the love would be there down. Such a love is not love. Can you love God without belonging to any religion? Only then can you be called a God lover. If you love God just because your religion told you to, you don't have any love for God. Can you be religionless and yet love God? Then let's see. Then let's see. What comes first? God or religion? Religions keep on coming and going. Can you love a child without having any formal relationship with the child? Then let's see. 